Are you looking to learn about Cloud Architect case study interviews and Solutions Architect case study interviews? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with about 25 years of experience. And in today's video, we're going to talk about case study interviews. And when the last round of an interview for your cloud architect job or solutions architect job or enterprise architect job is typically what's called a case study interview. There'll be a presentation interview that's associated with it. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is a case study interview, because I want you to win these interviews and I want you to know what they are and be prepared to win them. We're going to talk about why we do case study interviews for cloud architects, enterprise architects, security architects, solutions architects, what have you. And we'll talk about what you need to do to be successful on a case study interview or a presentation interview. And I've done so many of these for my clients over the years, and I've been through many of them myself. And I want to make sure you're successful on the case study interview. So what is a case study interview, realistically speaking? Well, it's going to feel a lot like a case study in an MBA program if you've been to business school. And if this is new to you, well, that's okay. That's what we're making this video. So the case study interview will basically be the company will give you a document, typically speaking. And in the document, there will be a case study that describes the company, a story about the company. It will describe the company's business challenges. It will describe the company's technology challenges. It will discuss the company's goals, the company's pain points as they describe them. And ultimately, you'll be asked to design a solution that's going to solve that organization's challenges. Now, ultimately, you'll have to document that solution. You'll have to present that back to solution, back to some key stakeholders. And they're going to give you an interrogation and see how you defend that actual interview. So that's realistically speaking. The architect's going to get that case study. They're going to design the solution, document, and then they're going to give a presentation. And the key is to a panel of people business people, technical people, and typically leadership professionals, and you're going to have to address all of their needs. So if you think about the case study interview, what it really is, is the company is giving you a cloud architect test or a solutions architect test or an enterprise architect test. Here's a client with a problem. Now, what are you going to go do about it? Just like you would do in the real world. And that's why if you want to get that cloud architect job, you're going to have to go through this uh, case study interview or anyone. So what is it we're trying to test on a case study interview? Why are we giving you a document to figure out what to do? Well, for one thing, you either know the architect job or you don't. And, you're, and the way you create that architecture is going to make it very clear to us. Now, what we're really checking beyond competency is the following. We're trying to see your logic. What choices did you make and why did you make those actual choices? We're looking at your professional judgment the why you did something or the why you chose not to do something. We're looking for your ability to evaluate trade-offs. What options did you consider and why did you choose the one you choose given that none of them are a perfect solution? There's never a perfect technology. So what are the trade-offs you consider to find the solution and make the solution you did? We're concerned about your understanding of your impact of the architecture on support and operations team. Does the company, for example, have the sophistication to manage the architecture or even deploy the architecture? So we're gonna be checking that based upon the case study. Don't be surprised if they ask those things. We're gonna be actually looking to see and understand, did you solve a business problem? Or did your architecture just design technology that worked like any other technology thing, but it didn't solve any business problems? Because so, it's not a winning architecture. Uh, we want to know and see how you can explain the solution and the solution's impact to the business. Now, one of the biggest reasons people fail these presentation interviews or case study interviews is they make a great technology presentation, but they don't describe its impact on the business. So think about that. We are gauging in this presentation your ability to communicate. Did you explain your solution clearly? Did you explain what's in it for me? Did you explain the why behind it, the logic, the rationale? But guess what else we're also determining on this? We're determining your attention to detail. Did you miss things? And many people fail this interview because of that. We're checking your presentation skills because as an architect, you're going to be doing these presentations all the time in the real world day of the life architect job. When we, we're going to ask you questions. Now, when we ask you questions, typically in these speaking interviews, we're going to give you hard questions. And why is that? 
two things. One is we want to see, do you have the ability to respond to questions? How deep do you know? But also we're going to get pretty scary on the questions potentially to see if you can maintain your composure under questions. In fact, I can remember at uh, one of these interviews, the, the team actually that was interviewing me started an argument based upon a question to see if I had the ability to take control of the room, which I did. And obviously as soon as I did that, they said, okay, interview over. We're checking your leadership skills, but they're going to be looking for all these little factors. We're going to basically be checking your ability to sell the architecture to key stakeholders. So, during your case study interview, now that you know what we're looking at, here's what I need you to communicate and be on this case study architecture interview. I need you to be polished. I need you to show me your proficiency. I need you to show me your executive skills because I need to know that I can put you in the room with the C-suite. I want to see how you explain to me how the architecture will explain the business. Because by doing so, I'll know that you understand the architecture and business, and I'll also understand you know, and to some degree understand business. I want to see your professional judgment. So I want to see a real world architecture. I don't want to see something that looks like an AWS exam with only AWS stuff in it because it's not reality or just Azure stuff in it because it's not reality. I want to see a real architecture that includes real technology and a real strategy that looks real world where you can explain why you chose what you chose. I want to see your executive skills. Can you explain the technology, what it is, how it works, and what's in it for me? Or are you going to go down technical rat holes and explain the code and configuration behind things like this? Because that's what I don't want to see in an architect. I do want to see it in a cloud engineer, but not in a cloud architect or an enterprise architect or a solutions architect. I want to know that in that architecture you deployed, you built in a governance structure and a change control structure and everything that goes along with that. So when you're on this interview, show them that you are a great architect and that you have the ability to drive transformation and you know everything that goes into being a cloud architect, solutions architect, or enterprise architect. And you've just proved it on that interview. And I want you to be successful. And I've done a lot of these interviews in my life. Now with this, make sure your architecture documentation is proficient. Make sure it's clear, succinct, to the point, make sure your architecture deliverable package and explains the solution, explains the key business processes associated with the solution, explains how the solutions works, any necessary business logic or workflows that are asso associated with it, and the overall architecture. I wanna see it all. So make sure in your next interview presentation, you show that. So make sure that when you take one of these interview presentations, you take it seriously. This is the last phase to getting hired on that solutions architect job or cloud architect job. And what we're testing is your ability to communicate, your ability to lead, your ability to evaluate trade-offs, your understanding of the whole solution, and so much more. So now you know what goes into a cloud architect presentation interview or a cloud architect uh, case study interview. Now, if you're looking to get your first cloud architect, security architect, AI architect, enterprise architect, or any other architect job, we've got both uh, training programs to help you build your entire architecture career, as well as free webinars to answer any questions you may have on architecture careers, like what is in a cloud architect do? What are the exact skills you need to be a cloud architect? When you don't have experience, what is it you need to do so you don't get auto-rejected and you can still be hired and you can be hired? Uh, what are those things that you need to do? What certification should you get? We will cover all of these on our free architecture webinars. And we will also answer any questions you may have on these architecture webinars. And if I can help you on these free architecture webinars, which are live on Zoom by evaluating your resume or LinkedIn profile or something like that and giving you feedback on that webinar, I am happy to do so to join us on one of these free architecture webinars, check out the links. There's links in the description of this video that will show you how to sign up for one of the how to become an architect type webinars. And while you're in the description of that video, we've got a video, we've got guides on how to win the interview, guides on how to become a cloud architect, AI architect, enterprise architect, and others and other free materials. So go sign up for some, they'll be emailed to you and help you in your cloud architect career. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to help you with your enterprise architect, security architect, cloud architect, AI architect, or any other architecture career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.